policy is a system which allows central control of your client computers. Using group policy, you can control the user experience. This includes configuration settings for the user and also settings that affect the computer as a whole. Group policy can also be used to deploy and configure software. Group policy settings are stored in Active Directory. They are client driven and thus the client is responsible for downloading the group policy settings and applying them. Group policy settings are applied to the client by software called client side extensions. If a particular group policy setting requires a particular client side extension and if that client side extension is not available, the group policy setting will not be applied to that computer or user. Group policy itself is divided primarily into two halves, user configuration and computer configuration. Computer configuration is applied when the computer starts up, while user configuration is applied when the user logs into the computer. Okay, in order to install software using group policy objects, we need to have a file that we want to install. So I've downloaded an MSI file and you need to make sure that the permissions are correct and my file is on a file share here under the software folder so I've already set the permissions on this folder we go in and we look under properties the security permissions are set for authenticated users they need to have read and execute they don't need full control or modify so in this folder I have a couple of software packages that I've downloaded previously and the one we're going to install or configure with group policy is the 7-zip so we know that's okay the other thing we need to do is in group policy management we need to drill down from computers to policy windows settings security settings security options and what we need to do is change the user account control the way that that behaves so that um, when the software is installed they don't get a pop-up window that asks them um, are they sure and that kind of thing so we need to find account control behavior of the elevation prompt for administrators and we need to define that policy and we want to say define and we want to elevate without prompting so we say apply and OK and we also want user account control detect application installations uh, and prompt for elevation we need to define this to disabled so again we go into properties define disabled apply and OK and there's one other one we need which is user account control only elevate uh, what does this one say only elevate executables that are signed and validated so we need to configure that one it's not defined we need to define that and disable that as well and apply and OK. And let's see this one here run all administrators in admin approve mode. We need to disable that as well. So we need to define the po policy first with properties. and that one's disabled by default and that's what we want we say apply and OK and we're 
done with that, we go to Group Policy. Group Policy Management. We want to apply a GPO to the computer's OU. So we want to create, and we're going to call this software deploy. Click OK. And we want to edit that. And this is a computer policy. We're going to drill down to software settings, software installation, right click, new package. And we want to make sure we use the UNC path, not the local computer path. And this has already taken me there because that's the last place I was. So we're going to click on the 7-zip package and open that and we want to use assigned and say OK. Now everything should be configured as far as our group policy. If we head over to one of our workstation machines From the command prompt, we're going to do GPO or GP update slash force, and that'll force the group policy to update. say yes to a restart. Okay, so here we are back on the client machine. And if we log in now, we should see that the group policy has been updated and the 7-zip software has been installed. And sure enough, there it is, 7-zip. So we can also use group policy to update software. So in our previous example of 7-zip, if a newer version of that particular software came out, we can configure um, the update through group policy. We would right click on the group policy and click edit and the group policy management editor will open and we drill down to software settings software installation and then over here in the blank space we can right click and we can say new package 
and for the purpose of this demonstration I'm just going to use the same MSI that I downloaded for 7-zip but obviously you would be selecting a newer version and we select the radio button for advanced and we say OK and another deployment we want to do the same thing uninstall if it falls out of the scope of management and we go to the upgrades tab and packages that this package will upgrade so we click add and we only have one other in there so we'll select that one and we'll say OK and we'll say OK so now when a user and it logs in or when the workstation is rebooted the new version of that particular software will be installed. That concludes this video on deploying software with root policy. Thanks for watching this video and be sure to check out my other videos regarding root policy, network infrastructure, and a variety of other topics. Also, don't forget to check out my friends at CC Mixter and the great music that they provide for videos and productions such as